and welcome to week 28 of Daily Living. This week, we are going to go back to looking at our emotions. Now, this point here, we're all just a little tired. We're ready for a break, and because of that, things can often frustrate us very easily and more easily than usual. Um, one of the hardest things about being a person, whether you're a kid or an adult, is acting appropriately. Uh, a lot of times when we get frustrated or we get angry, the first thing we want to do is we want to yell or we want to say something mean back to somebody. Um, but the reality of it is, is that's just not being a good person. And it is extremely hard to be a good person every single moment of every single day. However, if we want to achieve our goals and if we want to get the things that we want out of life, we need to try to be the best person we can be. Does that mean we have to be perfect? Of course not. We're going to make mistakes. And as you're going to find out uh, this week on Wednesday's Nearpod, um, our brains control our emotions. And sometimes our brains actually set us up to make mistakes. So please make sure that you watch that uh, Nearpod on Wednesday because I feel that it's going to help you in being able to better control yourself when you get in those frustrated situations. Now, speaking of situations, so the rest of the school year, as we know, it's getting warmer, it's getting nicer, uh, we're, we're all getting into activities after school, and we're wanting to be done. And I agree with you, and I'm, and I'm right there with you. I would love to start summer vacation now. However, we're not there yet. Uh, so this is the time of the year where keeping our emotions in check is going to be very, very difficult because we know what we want. We know what we don't want to be doing. Um, but unfortunately, we still have about eight to 10 weeks of school left. So we need to focus and we need to get the job done. When you get home in the evenings, take that time for yourselves. Do your activities that you have planned. Go outside. Um, even play some of your video games. Uh, but please remember, our, our goal right now is still to finish out the school year. So we can't forget about the things we have to do. We have talked about that all year long. So although it's nice, although there's things that we want to be doing, and, and sometimes you may have to be outside. You have yard work. You have chores. However, we also have school. So please make sure we make that a priority. And as we've talked about in the past with our day planners, um, write things down. Let you make yourself notes so you know what, when things are due and what things you should work on when you get home. Another suggestion would be when you get home, uh, skip that TV time or snack or, or uh, texting or chatting time and just get your schoolwork done right away. That way you have the rest of the evening to do the things that you need to do or want to do. And if all else fails and you absolutely can't fit that schoolwork in after school, uh, maybe wake up a little early in the morning and get it done before school. But regardless of how we approach it, let's remember that although our emotions are pretty high right now, we want to be switching into summer mode, we still have to finish out the school year. So if you have questions, if you have problems, if you're not really sure how to work your schedule in the evenings, please reach out and let me know so that we can talk about that. Because the last thing we want is for you to fall further behind.